All right. Good morning, afternoon, class. Once again, this is your teacher, Mr. Collins. Uh, today, we're going to start off class by playing the Fast and Furious game one more time, just to explain how this game works. All right. The teacher, myself, I will either say a definition or a word. If I say a word, then the students must answer or write down the definition of that word. All right. If I say the definition, then you must write down the word. Okay, so say I say uh, the maximum number of individuals of a single species that live in one area. All right, students must hurry up, write down your answer, and the first person with the correct answer, hold it up, that's his carrying capacity. First person with the correct answer will win. All right, let's take about four minutes worth of class to perform this activity. Go. All right, class. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do a station rotation, all right? But this time is going to be a little different. This time, you're going to take the role of the teacher, all right? So, on the handout that you grab as you walked in, at the very top, just take it out. Take three seconds to take it out. Three, two, one. All right. At the very top, you'll see a rubric, all right? This is how I grade your lab reports. So, we're going to be grading the introduction and procedure section of a lab report today. What you need to do is identify the score of the student, and that will be based on the criteria. All right? So, for introduction A, everybody should be on page one. We see criteria, four criteria. One, state the purpose of the report. So, an introduction must state the purpose. Two, must have a well-defined hypothesis. Three, identify all the variables, dependent, independent, and control, and must have at least 10 sentences. All right, so these are the criteria. The author will get a three if they have all of them. They will get a two if they have two of these criteria, and they will get a one if they only have one of the criteria. All right, so you read it, circle whatever, the, whatever score you're giving, all right? And you're going to give a reason for it, all right? So the author, so I'm giving them a two. The author did not have a well-defined hypothesis. And it was shorter than 10 sentences, all right? You write down your reason right there. And then you go into the questions that follow, all right? So we're going to, one, read the passage. Two, score the passage, and three, respond to the questions below. All right? Read the passage, score the passage, respond to the questions below. All right? Let's take four, let's take five minutes per station. Go. All right, class. Now, what we're going to do, we need to review our background information, all right? What do we already know about the Sunflower Seed Lab, anything that we knew prior to doing this lab, and any th other information that we might have gotten from, say, our president, all right? So, you're going to draft your introduction, including all the background information and all of the criteria that you see on your rubric, all right? Go. Now, you have five minutes to draft a detailed procedure section. Make sure that you include all of the steps and all of the materials included in your, uh, in your lab. All right, go.